talking with Peter Marini, and uh, an interesting situation here. We uh, talked to Peter earlier and found out that actually he's kind of new to reloading, uh, maybe less than a year, and so Peter has been uh, experimenting, trying, buying, doing all those things that once you get into reloading, you need to do. Uh, Peter, what made you decide to get into reloading? The value, the money you save by reloading your own rounds versus having to buy it, and the scarcity of the rounds in the market. You can't go with get with the rounds you want, and... The cost is, is really driving it through the roof. So, so you're actually saving money then by uh, by reloading. Oh, so yeah. when you take the cost of the powder and the cost of the the lead, and I uh, you're even forging your own bullet. So you know that's saving you some money on oh, yeah. the, you know the whole thing. And if you like to shoot a lot, I mean I think that's that's really the way to go. And it is. It's it's like 25 percent of the cost of a round to to make your own. I mean yeah, you got to spend some money to get started, but once you spent that initial outlay. The cost, it'll pay for itself in no time at all. And so the good thing is here, folks, that um, Peter started out really with some basic equipment. I mean, there are different kinds of presses that do multiple tasks, and, you know, one pull of the lever, you can almost, uh, you know, charge one whole round. In this case, Peter, uh, you, you kind of bought the components right. so that uh, you can kind of get started in this and learn. Was it difficult to learn how to do this? I mean, did you have to do a lot of it's, reading? There's def oh, yeah, you got to do a ton of reading. And every, every manufacturer's got his own set of guidelines and mm -hmm. rules. Uh, absolutely, Joe, the guys at Dunkelberger's crazy because they just kept asking question after question. Tom That's what they're there for. Tom and Andy did a great job helping me out with it, helped me pick what I wanted. And I, I, I bought the best set that I could afford at the time. I'm happy with it. Yeah, there's always going to be something you can move up to and something you could have worked down to. I like the setup I've got. It's easy. It's it's easy to figure out. I can set it up wherever I want, and I like it. So. All right. Well, let's kind of run through this. I know that Nosler and many other companies make really great books that you can follow. It tells you step by step how to do it. And as you said, you're using some uh, RCBS dies here uh, and and the press. And so, uh, why don't we start off now? We have a spent round. Okay, and that's what we have here. We have a spent. 45, and, uh, okay, this is fire. Where do we go from here okay. with that? Okay, first thing you got to do is get the primer out. Okay. So you take one of the dies from the from the kit that you buy, okay. which you have to buy separately. Everything mm -hmm. comes separately, and there's a, there's a die for a die set for mm -hmm. every round out there. Okay. You put the die in the machine. All right, so that's, this actually screws right out, right? right? So we're gonna, out. We'll screw that out. Oops, wrong place. Here. That'll screw it right. down. All right. There right. we go. We're back in there. You put your All die right. in the press. All right, we got the die in the press. Then you put the round in. Okay. You do your one pull. Oh, sorry. You do your one pull. Go down. It'll take, what it does is it shapes the casing and, and takes the primer out at the same time. Okay. So that's your first step. Okay, second step. After that, I... Now, I, I noticed that, you know, um, when you're firing around, certainly, the, you know, the rounds, the brass gets a little dirty, so you know, we need to clean the brass, and we end up with something that's really, you know, a lot cleaner that we can work with. Well, what I did was I also went out and I bought the uh, a tumbler. Okay. A tumbler is just, it's a vibrating pot that uh, it's got some uh, mm -hmm. media in it. You put the casings in there, and they go from looking real... Gnarly and gritty with all the spent burnt powder on it to uh -huh. a nice shiny brass uh, casing. Okay. Personal choice. So now we take this one out. You take this die out. All right. Now, see, normally what you would do is if you have 50, 100 rounds, 200 rounds, you would you would take out the you would take out the primers on all of the rounds uh, and then move on and change right. the die. Right. It's, 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 it's definitely a process. Okay. Because then once, actually, once you get the die out and you got the, 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 primer, the out. primer out, the casing's clean, the next step is getting a, uh, a primer back into the casing. Okay. So then you got to put your, your casing back in. Put the prime, well, there's a couple ways of doing it. You can buy a handheld one that you can sit there and load okay. a bunch of them at once, right. or you can do it while it's on the press. You put your primer in the kit in the press, put the shell in, and go down, come up, and you got a prime shell. Bingo. Okay. Okay. All right. So we got a prime shell. Okay. Um, and now after you've got the prime shell, then where do we go from now? There? Your shell is primed. You want to flare the the round uh -huh. so that you can help it to uh, accept the head or right. the bullet. You go to the next die. So you put the next die in. And then the next die will flare it. Make sure it's sized to the right length. And as I said, you know, we're talking here, but you know, basically what we're doing is you're going to do 50, 100 rounds at least. Right. You just don't do one at a time. Here's the one we just did. Let's okay, we can do that one. Put that one right back in there. There we go. And then you go up. Okay. And now you've got a flared round that will accept the okay. cartridge. 
All right, so there's, there's, a, bullet there's a bullet head. We, right. got, we got the cartridge. Let's put that back in. Well, no, now we oh, got to get no, the powder in there right, first. I mean, just oh, okay, people. yep, there you go. All right, there you go. See, so there you go. We put the, we put the bullet right in. It's not okay. seated exactly where you want oh, it, but yeah. it's flared enough to hold exactly, the bullet. Exactly, so just to hold the bullet. Okay, the now the next thing we need to do is put some powder in there, right? Right. All right. Now, now you have a powder measure, and the powder, powder measure does the same thing. We just take that one out. You take that one out. Put the put powder in measure in. You adjust it. You and gotta tweak it. This so is the important. You keep tweaking it. And, you tweak and, it until and, you get the exact uh, gram amount that you want based uh -huh. on the books and, and all the, the literature. Uh -huh. And then each pull it out of lever will give you that exact amount. So it'll load that. <laughs> it'll load that amount of powder. Okay. Right. Obviously the powder goes in here. Sure. You, you adjust it from here. Once you you want to be accurate there. You, know, you want to be accurate. You want to get that on. And actually changing the load just a little bit with the powder uh, also makes a difference in how that. Oh, it's going to shoot fire. exactly. You know, and, and exactly. You're, you're, you're shooting here for accuracy. Exactly. So you know, moving the powder up a little bit within the guidelines that the book tells you. Right. It's going to adjust. You don't want to load them too hot. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now we've that. got. Now we've got now powder. We've got, Say we've, we've got, got powder, powder in here. Put the bullet we put, in there. Put the bullet in there. We put it back put in. Put it back in there. Go to the next die. All right. And again, you're not doing it one at a time, so it's not like it's taking right. forever to do. You're you're doing 50, 100, 200 at a time. Right. You put the next die in. This is like the time flies. You know, you sit yeah, there it's the bench exactly and start like time, time flies. flies. <laughs> I, I hate right. to admit it because I do that too. <laughs> but it's the same kind of situation. Exactly, it's a process. It, it's it's not a one right. step from deal. One, you know, one to the you other. There and we go. We got the bullet put it in, seated. And now you've got right. a finished round. All right, and so there's the finished round that there's we ended up round, with. Finished round, ready to fire. And ready to fire. Um, now you can buy all the components, right? I yes. Mean, you can buy the brass. Uh, you can buy the how, brass. How many times do they, do they recommend you reuse? Um, I I've never read anywhere that there's a specific number of times, okay. but each time you load around, mm -hmm. you really want to spend the time to inspect it, take a look at it. If I mean, there's times I can show you that the brass actually cracks. Mm -hmm. If it looks like it's going. Get rid of it. Right. You no, know, no it, sense it, in keeping yeah, it. no sense in keeping it. Right. They're cheap enough. They're easy enough to get them. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't look right, it's not worth messing with. Just get rid of it. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do. Um, and so this is kind of an easy process. Now you even talked a little bit about uh, now you're buying lead and, and forging right. your own your own bullets, which yeah. is another whole. That's yeah, another whole, that's another, another whole, whole show. show. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, uh, so this makes it easy, Peter. And uh, boy, you'll be out there on a range if you're able to shoot. And uh, as much as I want, not exactly, the trigger, right? exactly. Not have to spend a right. hundred bucks just to go to go shoot for the day. Yeah. And um, and actually, it's a kind of safe situation. The powder is safe. Yes. Uh, you certainly don't want to. I mean, you know, just naturally, you don't want to be smoking or anything while you're of course while you're not. working with this stuff anywhere near it, that kind of thing. And you want to have a secure area so you can keep the powder. You know, in, in an area locked up and like that, but basically uh, easy to do. And uh, you look like you're well on your way. I think what we'll do is some point come back again, uh, you know, and talk to you again sometime sure. and just see how far you've progressed and what you've done with absolutely. this. Absolutely. Hopefully by then I'll have right? a progressive stage. Yeah, absolutely. It, it really is. Take the time, pick people's brains. Anybody that'll give you any kind of information, you can always learn something from. So it's definitely the way to go. Hey, fantastic. Thank you, Peter. You're welcome. We'll be right back after these brief.